Today, we are going to be learning about numerical expressions. Our learning target for this lesson is to be able to write numerical expressions and use the order of operations to solve them. A numerical expression has numbers and operations, but it does not have an equal sign. When you see the word evaluate, it means that you need to find the value or find a solution. You're going to solve the problem to get to an answer. And order of operations tells us the order to perform each operation in. Go ahead and pause the video and write these definitions down in your journal. Now, let's look at some examples of numerical expressions. We are going to follow the instructions here. Write an expression to match the words. And we're going to be mindful that we do not see the word evaluate, so we will not find a value and we will not use any equal signs in these examples. Let's start with addition. Emma has 11 fish in her aquarium. So that's the total number of fish she started with, 11. She buys four more. When we buy something, we add to what we already have. And then four more fish is what she bought, 11 plus four. Let's look at subtraction. Lucia has 128 stamps. That's the number of stamps she started with. She uses, when we use something, we subtract. We take away from what we have. She uses 38 stamps on party invitations, 128 minus 38. Let's look at multiplication. Carla buys five books. The number of books that she's going to purchase is five. Each book costs $3. So every book that she's going to buy is multiplication. Each costs $3. So five times $3. Next, let's look at division. Four players share 52 cards equally. Well, the cards, we need to find the total amount being shared, which is 52. And when we share equally among our friends or dividing things up, we're going to divide. And that's going to be shared equally among four players. Now, the number four is written in words, so we need to make sure that we do not overlook that. And we did not evaluate, so we haven't solved or found an answer for any of these, and we did not use an equal sign. Let's take a look at expressions with parentheses. And the meaning of the words will tell us where we should place the parentheses. So we're going to write an expression that matches these words. Terry had 18 worms. The number of worms she started was 18. She gave four worms. So we're going to give something we have to subtract. She gave four worms to Susie and three worms to Jamie. Now let's look at these words again. She gave, so we're subtracting four worms to Susie and plus three worms to Jamie. Now, the reason that I use it, this addition sign is because she did two things. She did four and three. So usually when we see and, we're going to add because those are two things that are happening together and we group them in parentheses. So 18 minus four plus three because she did these two things together right here, four plus three in parentheses. So Rick had eight dollars. He then worked four hours for five dollars each hour. So he's going to do something. After we see that he has eight dollars, he then worked four hours for five dollars each. So he's going to get more money. So since he's getting more, we're going to add and what he's going to have to do is work four hours for $5 each. So each hour, he's going to get $5. So this is what he did next. So he had $8. This, this was first. And then something else happened. And we put that in parentheses. Okay? 
Now let's look and see what we need to do when we have to use the order of operations. Now, when we're using the order of operations, we're being asked to evaluate. So this time we do see the word evaluate and we will find the value, but we will not use equal sign. We're gonna follow the order of operations, parentheses, that's what we would do first, multiplication and division from left to right, and or addition and subtraction for left to right. So let's look at five minus two times seven. Since five minus two is in parentheses, I need to do that first. So that will be three, keep my multiplication sign in my seven, and I multiply three times seven is 21. Notice that I kept everything linear, it means everything is in line, right on top of each other and there are no equal signs. Let's look at 72 divided by nine plus 16. We do not see parentheses, but we do see that there is a multiplication and division, or division, and we're gonna do this division part first. So 72 divided by nine is eight, plus we have 16, so we keep our plus 16, and now we just add eight plus 16 to get 24. And finally, eight plus 24 minus 16 divided by four. And now we see that we have additional digits. We have four digits here, and we have three operation signs instead of two, like the other problems show. We have addition, subtraction, and division in this problem. So we know we're going to have to do this part first 24 minus 16, and that is going to give us 8. Now, since we have finished using this, we don't need that part anymore, but we do need to keep this eight. We need to keep our addition sign. We need to keep this other division sign and the four. And then essentially, we just start over. So it's, it's just like we have a new problem. So I go back to my order of operations up here, and I see that I have multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. And so we need to do multiplication and division first. So I have to do eight divided by 4 first, and that's going to be 2. Now I need to say 8 plus 2 because I keep that 8 that was here in my addition sign, and that's going to be 10. And again, notice everything is linear. I did not use any equal signs in this part of the problem. Okay, And that's what we need to do to use the order of operations. Now you're going to try some problems on your own. Your term problems, I need you to pay attention to what you're being asked to do. Make sure that you do these problems in your journal, go on at Moto, and let us know that you have watched the video. See you in class tomorrow. Spread yourself. Whatever you do. Uh.